On Saturday, September 7th, Fox News contributor and former Democratic Congressman Dennis Kucinich advised Fox management he believed he could secure an interview with the Syrian president, whom he had met on previous occasions. At the time, it appeared an American military attack on Syria was imminent, and Fox News executive vice president of news, Michael Clemente, decided that Kucinich should pursue the interview on condition that a Fox News journalist would also be included. We were presented with an opportunity for access to a volatile part of the world and felt that footage of Assad speaking would be of unique news value. Over the course of the next 10 days, the situation in Syria changed dramatically. When our interview with President Assad finally took place on Tuesday, September 17th, Russia's proposal to secure Syrian chemical weapons had, at least temporarily, significantly reduced the likelihood of an American attack. That prospective Russian deal continues to do so. The interview, shot by agreement by a Syrian camera crew, was conducted with no restrictions on the questions that could be asked. Fox News senior foreign affairs correspondent Greg Palcott, a veteran of Middle East coverage, conducted the interview alongside Kucinich. And Clemente was present in the control room and studio at the presidential palace in Damascus for the duration. Kucinich was not there in the capacity of a journalist, nor was he representing Fox News in that role. The entire dynamic of the story, of course, changed between the first learning of the possibility of an interview and the actual taping. This gives you a sense of how the leader of Syria is interpreting these developing events in his own words. Fox is airing the entire interview without commercial interruption. Afterwards, a special expanded panel will analyze what was said. Now, from Damascus, an interview with Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Hello, Mr. President. Thank you very much for providing Fox News with this opportunity for an interview. I'm joined here by my colleague, re reporter Greg Palcott, and uh, we're very interested in proceeding. Uh, as you know, there's been a number of breaking news stories uh, which uh, we need to discuss with you. The UN has just released its chemical weapon report. Uh, my colleague, uh, Greg Palcott, will be discussing that with you in a moment. Uh, I want to talk to you about uh, other major developments regarding the chemical weapons plan, uh, which has been agreed to by the U.S. and the Russian government. Uh, do you agree with this plan to secure uh, and to eventually destroy the chemical weapons. Uh, last week we uh, joined uh, the international agreement of preventing the uh, WMD, chemical WMD. Uh, and part of this agreement, the main part, is to not to uh, manufacture these armaments, uh, not to store, and not to use, and of course not to distribute. Uh, and part of it is to get rid of those uh, materials, the chemical uh, materials. So, of course, when we, uh, when we are part now of this agreement, we have to agree on that chapter. You have to agree on? On getting rid of all these armaments, I mean, to destroy. Uh, to why, destroy do you, why do you agree now? Uh, no, actually, it's not now. If you go back uh, 10 years ago, uh, when we were uh, non-permanent member of the, United, uh, of the Security Council in 2003, uh, we proposed to the United Nations to Security Council, Syrian proposal is to get rid of the WMD from the Middle East, to have a free uh, chemical free zone or WMD free zone in the Middle East. And actually the United States opposed that proposal. So as conviction, we wanted to see our region free of WMD, all kind of WMD, because it's a very volatile region. It's uh, always uh, on the verge of uh, anarchy and uh, wars. So that's why we, do, we cannot say that we agreed now. Well, yeah. we, we know that uh, President Obama and Secretary Kerry have said in the past that you were lying. Now, that's their words, not mine, uh, when you said that you didn't have any chemical weapons. A few days ago in an interview with Russia Channel 24, uh, you admitted you had chemical weapons stockpiles. Uh, now, I, I just want to make sure we're clear here before we go forward. Uh, do you or do you not have chemical weapons? Uh, first of all, regarding what Obama and Kerry said, I dare them to say that we said no once. We never said it. 
You, n you never uh, said no. No, no, we never well, said. We never tell said us now. We never said no. We never said yes. Can we you always say, say yeah? But we always say it's classified issue. We don't have to discuss it. And if you want to talk about it, we say if. And if means you can, you may have it, you may not. So this is blatant uh, lie. Okay, but can you tell us now? Do you have chemical weapons or don't you? Yes, when we uh, joined the uh, when we joined the treaty last week, it means that we have, and we said we said that. So it's not a secret anymore. So so as far as the American people, you 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 will uh, agree that you do have a stockpile of chemical weapons. Of course, that's why we joined the international agreement in order to cut rid of. Now, my, my colleagues, uh, my former colleagues on Capitol Hill are kind of skeptical about your agreement with this plan. Uh, they say it's just a stalling tactic. Is it? Well, a stalling tactic? Well, what is it, to join the agreement? But yeah, that you're just stalling right now for time, that you really don't have any intention of going along with the plan. Are you well, stalling? When you join the agreement, you have mechanism, and you have to obey these mechanisms. And according to the history of Syria, we never made agreement with any party in this world, and we didn't fulfill uh, what we have to do, so, our, our role in that agreement, so, so, never. So you would say uh, that President Obama then can trust you to follow through? Uh, I don't think that President Obama should trust me first. The Syrian people should trust me, not President Obama. That's uh, okay. second, when you talk about agreements and international relations, you have mechanisms. And those mechanisms should be based on uh, objective criteria. So if you want to trust or not trust, Watch this country, see if they obey those mechanisms and those rules or not. This is where you can trust him or not. So it's not personal relation. I understand. So you're, you're under a tight time deadline. Are you going to be able to provide the list that is part of the agreement? Exactly. List of chemical it is weapons? part. You should provide a list of the arsenal that you have to the organization of the chemical weapons. And, and, are, you, and are, you open, are you ready to open chemical weapons sites to international inspection? We didn't say that we, we are joining uh, partially that agreement or that organization. We joined fully. We send the letter, we send the document, and we are committed to the full requirements of this agreement. Well, as a, as a, are you, would, you be, would you be ready to let our Fox News cameras uh, have access to some of the chemical weapons site so that the American people will be able to see for themselves. Is that possible? Uh, in Syria, we have institutions, we have rules, we have conditions. So we have to go back to this institution to ask them for that request. And after they uh, study the, the request, they can uh, say yes or not. But it's not about the president to take that decision alone. So we have institution. You can do that after the, this interview. You can ask. For permission. Can, can you just destroy these chemical weapons uh, quickly, and if not, why not? I think it's a very complicated operation technically, and it needs a lot, a lot of money. Some estimated about a billion for the Syrian stockpile. We're not experts in that regard, but that's the estimates that we've had uh, recently. Uh, so quickly depends. That you have to ask the experts what do they mean by quickly, because it has certain schedule. It needs a year maybe a little bit less or a little bit more. So well, what since, do you mean by quickly? Since it, since it is the United States which demanded uh, that you give up chemical weapons, would you be prepared uh, to turn over your chemical weapons to the U.S. government for the purposes of safely destroying those weapons? Uh, as I said, it, uh, it needs a lot of money. It needs about one billion. Uh, it's very detrimental to the environment. Uh, if uh, the American administration is ready to pay those money, and uh, to take the responsibility of bringing toxic materials to the United States, why don't they do it? But of course, it's going to be in cooperation with the specified organization in but, the United but, but Nations. But you're prepared to hand them over at some point for the safe destruction of them? Doesn't matter where, as I said, at the end, if you're going to destroy them, doesn't matter where they go. Are there any conditions? No, we don't have any condition to send it anywhere. At the end, if it's going to be destroyed, it could be destroyed anywhere. It's, as I said, it's very detrimental to the environment. So it, whoever country is ready to take the risk of those materials, let them take it. I just have one final question before I give it over to my colleague, reporter Greg. Do you have a security agreement with the Russian government that if and when you give up your chemical weapons, that you, in fact, uh, will be protected hmm. so that you're not vulnerable to attacks? Yeah. Uh, because we know there are other nations which gave up their weapons and then they were attacked. 
You know, the uh, Russian rule politically was very efficient during the crisis in Syria, during the last two years and a half. And they vetoed three times in the Security Council. So actually, they protected Syria politically. They don't have to have a uh, security agreement with Syria regarding this. It's not about uh, only about uh, the, uh, the army and the war. It's about politics, first of all. So I think they are doing their job without having this agreement. So, you, so just to summarize, you do have uh, chemical weapons, you're prepared to go along with the plan to uh, uh, to destroy them, and that you're prepared to uh, uh, to cooperate with the international community in that. Again, as I said, the, what what you mentioned, all are part of the international agreement. And when we agree, agreed to uh, join this agreement, we want to fully cooperate with this agreement, not partially. I think this is very clear.